Hello everyone, this is Austin with Free Will Dream and we have a special thing happening here today. I uh, took Free Will Dream on the road and this is a very special, special situation. I want to introduce somebody that I just met a couple days ago. Her name's Allison Miller. Say hello, Allison. Hey everybody. Hey, Austin. It's great to finally meet you. Yeah, you too. We were introduced through a mutual friend and when I heard this story, I, I had to bring it to you, had to spotlight it and which is going to ultimately lead to an event on August 28th. But I just want to start out, you're probably curious, wondering what's this all about. But I had an opportunity to meet Allison. And Allison had a dream that her and her husband had to go on the road after, you want to just talk a little bit about that first, like how this started. So we're going to talk about this journey of a dream that started as a dream, which turned into what we'll call an odyssey of love. And we'll get into that. But why don't you just share... Okay. The, the dream at first and how this whole okay. thing started. Uh, my husband Chuck and I uh, decided to get out of the rat race here in New Jersey in 2009. Uh, we left our jobs, sold everything, and we went out on the road um, just to be together and explore the country. And we called ourselves happily homeless because that's absolutely what we were. We had no house, we just had our car and our, a few of our belongings. And uh, we went out on the road and we had our last four years just traveling the lower 48th and that, that's, seeing everything. That's, that's an amazing story in and of itself, to have the courage to get rid of everything and just go out on the road and see the United States, yeah. pretty much, yeah. just staying at campgrounds and different places. We, no, 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 oh. no, campgrounds. no I campgrounds. I didn't believe in camping. Okay. So uh, we stayed at military lodgings. Chuck was retired Air Force. Right. And we stayed at inexpensive hotels. No camping. Don't believe mm -hmm. in it. Ironically. <laughs> right, and, and you, there's amazing stories that we're not going to give you everything right now, but that's a story in and of itself. But then the story gets more interesting and, and much broader in scope. And I, we'll just let you share a little bit about okay. what happened, if you, just to touch on okay. it. Okay. Um, while we were on the road, um, Chuck got cancer 2012 and into 2013, and he died in April 2013, April 21st. And I had a decision to make about what I was going to do with my life. And so I decided to continue our travels, my travels, except kind of ours still, because he rides his Cremains ride shotgun with me. Right. And I set off on the road. I bought a car and I painted it pink as I told him I was going to, um, because pink is a color of um, strength to me and joy. And I needed strength and I wanted to find joy again. Mm -hmm. So um, I had the car painted pink. And then a few months later, I bought a little trailer, and I had the trim painted in the same color, and I set off on what I call an odyssey of love, which is really kind of continuing the travels that he and I did, but I'm doing it on my own now and broadening the scope of it. And that's very heartfelt. I can feel it. It chills as I'm listening to you, but I just want to point out that you guys were married for 24 years, right? Yes. And it was it was a love affair, right? Oh, uh, I you know actually I call it um, a love affair marriage. A love affair marriage. Yeah, because uh, we were just as much in love the night that he died mm -hmm. as we were the day that we uh, that we got married. And um, for 24 years, and and on our last in our last four years together of traveling, we danced all over the country. He was a great slow dancer, and so mm -hmm. we would just stop at the side of the road sometimes with and without music, and we would just dance. He was, mm. we just loved each other. We were in love with each other for all of those 24 years. Such a true love story and it continues through you. Yes, it does. And what you're doing. Yeah. And we're gonna, we're gonna take a look. You can see behind me, this is uh, Allison's vehicle. It says uh, nothing but love on the side. And you can see it's painted pink. And there's a trailer, which we're gonna give you a, a look at that. But yes, because this is how you set out on the road. And I just wanna point this out, that this is by yourself, you're by yourself. Yeah. I'd never you towed, do this by yourself. I'd never towed a trailer. I'd never camped, and like I said, I never believed in camping, and I still don't actually believe in it. And yet, here I am, four years later, with a trailer and uh, staying at campgrounds. Go That's figure. That's inspirational. Life it's... leads you to unexpected places when you don't think that it can. And that's a, a courageous story that uh, we, we'll get into more of that. I don't want to get too much right. right now, but is it okay if we walk in here? Absolutely. So we're going to walk in here. This is a. Let me just get a and out here this is the you can see it's got it's a retro can uh yeah tab, it's a tab teardrop tab teardrop yes that is actually a 2013 yes it is and it was made in retro and you've kind of customized it for yourself i absolutely have and to walk in you can see it's got a tv 
sleeping quarters with some sit out and this actually pulls out into a bed and I can see photos of you and your husband yeah. all throughout with a lot of inspirational. Yeah. And as we're doing this, what is it that you, you want to, what, well, why are you doing this number one and what is it that you're looking to bring to people that you, because I know you run into people all across the country, they yes. see that and I do. you engage in conversation. Yeah. And I, there, obviously there's a little kitchenette behind yeah. us too. My, which I don't use a whole lot, but it's there if I it's want It's there. Yeah. And why are you doing this and what is it that you're looking to bring to people? Okay, why I'm doing it is because I kind of didn't know what else to do because Chuck and I lived on the road for all those years and so how am I going to settle down? Where am I going to settle down? But I'm also a gypsy at heart. But the overriding uh, part of all of that was that Chuck asked me to return to our favorite places and scatter his cremains, mm -hmm. which is why I set out on what I call on what I am calling an odyssey of love. But really, what it is now, what it has become bigger than just the love story that Chuck and I had, is uh, continuing the legacy of love that he left behind for me and expanding mm. what he and I did, which when we were on the road together as happily homeless, which is connecting people and connecting with people, and. Um, what was the second one that you had? I just said, what is it that you want to bring to oh, people? Like, you know what? I have your, I see your why. You know, your yes. why is a, it's a legacy, but what, what is it that you are bringing to people through this? I am uh, bringing a story of possibilities. I'm bringing a story of possibilities even while you are devastated, mm. when your life has been upended in every way, when it looks like absolute incineration around you, which is everything that I that happened the night that Chuck died and which continues in many ways and I learned that you don't have to let that stop you you don't have to change it before you do something you mm -hmm. can still you can still do everything you want to even while you have all of that and that's what a lot of people don't know and what I didn't know I had to learn you know sometimes it, it's, it's like you have to get to a place another place before you can do something and you don't have to I've brought all of my grief and devastation and open heart and everything all right along with me mm -hmm. as I look at all the possibilities. Yeah, and, and as I spoke with you yesterday before today, the one thing I, I feel as I'm listening to you is that it sometimes it's in your greatest weakness you find your greatest strength. Oh, absolutely, absolutely. Yeah. And, and you know, you don't have to think it through, you don't have to go through, you don't have to jump through every kind of hoop to get somewhere first. You just, you just do it. Yeah. That's that's really my guiding one of my guiding mottos is like yeah. Mike used to say, you just do it. Just it doesn't do it. matter what else you have with you. You do it anyway. Right. You do it anyway. So this is an amazing story and um, if I can get in here, it's a little little short in here. I but, know, huh? But this is a story of of dreams, loss, hope, grief, faith and possibilities and we're going to do a special event at the end of august you absolutely want to hear more about allison's story it's so moving and uplifting and it is all about possibilities in the face of what you said is devastation so we invite you to it's going to be on august 28th it's a sunday in the afternoon there'll be more details to come and uh i'm not sure if you're going to have your rig there but i know you at least have your vehicle yes so you guys can yep. see this and yeah. just Whatever you're going through, everybody's going through something. You definitely want to hear more about this story. So stay tuned for more, and we look forward to seeing you on August 28th. God bless.